You want to see what I've been working on? Come on in. You know, I am so excited about these new paintings. When I start a painting, I never know what's going to happen. And sometimes I feel like it paints itself. And sometimes it kind of pops into your imagination and you don't really know where it's going. I'll never forget standing in San Francisco on the top of Lombard Street. Now, picture you're looking out over that vast scenery, all the bay laid out before you. I took my easel up there and I was painting. And as I worked, I thought, you know, this would make a beautiful subject for a studio painting. Now, what I did was I did my plein air painting. When I worked on a plein air painting, I tried to capture the mood, you know, a little bit of the lights. It was late afternoon light. And then I thought, now, let's take a lot of photographs, get everything documented. I made sketches of the scene itself and brought all that stuff back and began work on what I'm about to show you. Lombard Street is a historic street. Everyone knows it as the world's crookedest street. And uh, you start at the top and you gotta wind your way down. So I tried to capture that in this painting. Now, if you look, I'm not finished with this. So I will tell you that right up front. It's kind of fun for me because I'm at that stage where I'm just putting all the final detail and I've got some people I'm gonna put in down here. I put an old vintage Mercedes-Benz uh, Cabriolet that uh, you see down here making its way down the, the street. Of course, a vintage Harley Davidson, you had to have that. As I'm working, I'm putting on, I'm at the point I'm putting lights on and I'm working in acrylic still. I'm getting ready to start my oil layer. And I work with these little teeny brushes at this point, you can see how small they are. And this mixture will set the stage for the light. I put just enough white to build up. See that little blob on the paintbrush? It's what I use to turn on the lights. And look how this will just add so much as I bring the lights into this painting. These are gonna be some vintage light posts going down into the setting. You wind down the hill and you come up on the other side and look at how the street just seems to go up into infinity. Of course we have Coit Tower at the top of the hill there and it is catching the last little bit of light. The bay is laid out. This is Treasure Island and the Oakland Bay Bridge. I put flags all over the painting. I'm going to be putting a few more in as I work. I love the idea of the flags silhouetted by the mist. You know, you have that sense of just the little bit of mist has blown away. The streets are still damp. The clouds are clearing. You can see the bay. San Francisco is so wonderful because it, it, there's no predicting the weather. Every day it changes. Um, it can be misty in the morning, clear in the afternoon, and foggy again by evening. So I want that sense of transition in the painting. Now the series of San Francisco paintings goes back quite a ways. One of my first releases was San Francisco Union Square. And from there, of course, I've painted Fisherman's Wharf, I've painted the Golden Gate, I've painted Hyde Street, my most recent one. And I think everybody's favorite is the old view down California Street. And of course, I've been looking at that painting as I've been working on this one. My goal is to have some of that same kind of mood in the painting of Lombard Street that I had in California Street. San Francisco is like diamonds all strung together forming all that glitter and, and beauty of all those lights on the bay. Now I've also been working on another painting. This I think will release sometime in 2002. But it's a follow-up to the Garden of Prayer and of course I've done a couple in the Garden of Prayer series. This one is called The Hour of Prayer. This will be Garden of Prayer number three. Of course, the painting isn't finished yet. I want to put some lilies in there like I did on the original Garden of Prayer. And I'm going to be putting a lot more detail in. This is just one I've been tinkering away on over the last uh, month or so. And I wanted to show it to you as well. It's fun to see these paintings in progress. You never know what's going to make its way to the easel next. I do have some exciting releases coming up in 2002. Of course, I'm real excited about the first San Francisco painting in five years. And Everybody loves Lombard Street. Some say that's the most beautiful view in all of San Francisco. So I'm excited about that. That painting will release mid-December. So ask your dealer, your representative, your consultant about 
maybe putting a deposit down and reserving that painting for yourself. That will be a popular one for sure. Everyone loves the city by the bay. And of course, Garden of Prayer number three, available sometime in 2002, probably March or April. So God bless you as we share the light.